Hi guys, Squall here. Welcome back to another My Summer Car episode. Well, Sunday, I mean, this it's just about the end of Sunday now. This has been the worst day. Sunday, as this has been the worst... I have died twice today. It doesn't get any worse than this. And to top it all off, you know, my bike, my, my van full of all my stuff is by my boat. My boat is by the shop. And my van is somewhere on the side of the road on the way to the shop. So it's gone crazy, crazy bad for me. My fatigue bars are all down because, well, we've died, so we're kind of, it's reset the bars. So now what do I do? How do, how do I get this stuff back? So my thought is, let's just take the truck. Because at least with the truck, I can tow the, tow the van. Uh, the bike can go in the back of... I'm hoping the the van the bike can fit in here, to be honest. But yeah, it, to be honest, I'm getting running out of options here. Because if I if I ditch this thing, the only advantage of this thing is you can't really die in it, unlike the van or the bike. I I still think back about that, the bike death. I I fell off that bike. I don't know how many times, and I fall off it once, and. I died. I can't believe you just watched that back. I can't believe I died. It's just nuts. Anyway, it happened. To deal with it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go left. I'm gonna take the same route that I took with the bike. Although to be fair, I could probably drive round to uh, Flitari's mechanic store on the road. And then, and then double back, because it it wasn't really that far away from... Uh, oh no, I'd gone past... Yeah, 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 I'd gone past Flitari, hadn't I? That's right. I'd gone past Flitari, a few hundred metres, I was not far off the crossroads into the main town. The other thing about the truck is I can actually sleep if I need to. But this is going to be like a night recovery operation. And the only downside to this is I really need to take the the boat back. That was the, the the whole reason I did this was to take the boat back. Now I can't, can I? Because if I take the boat back now, I'm then going to be stuck with another problem of, you know, I needed the motorbike. Unless I put the motorbike in the boat, now that would work. Yeah, yeah, that would work. If I put the motorbike in the boat, that would work. Because then I can drive down the bottom of the road and get a lift, which is my original plan. Crikey. I was driving along there on the motorbike and I was thinking, I'm getting, getting the hang of this bike here. You know, just some gently leaning turns. Getting the hang of it. Next thing, the car comes around the corner. And uh, I banked over to go off the road. Next thing you know, I'm dead. Just unbelievable. Right, I'll pick it up in a minute when I get nearer to the motorbike. Okay, we're not far away. I remember coming down this bit here. Because I remember driving down here thinking, ah, oh, I'm sure he's changed the scenery. Looks a bit more rocky and stuff as you go up to the antenna mast. So I remember coming through here. But yeah, I swear he's changed it. Like, I don't remember all this rocks and gravel and stuff here. And the fields now have these, uh, like, bales in them. I don't remember that either. Okay, remember this. We definitely went over this bit. There's the antenna. And then I went down the straight here. I was flying down here. And then we made a right turn over a hill. And as we came down, the road curved around to the left. And that's where I saw the car. And that's where I ditched it. So it wasn't this bit. I remember taking this corner. Took this corner. Wasn't this bit. The bike should be on the left. It's like that bale there. I don't remember that being there.
don't actually remember passing the house. Oh yes, no, I do. I do remember passing that. I remember passing these bales. It was definitely past this bit. In fact, it was just round this corner. I remember. Yeah, it's just as we approach the water section, I think. So it'll be here. As it came around here. Was this where I ditched it? Yeah, it was here. Don't tell me the game is like... Reset it back to the tip or something rubbish. That would be really annoying. Because I think it auto-saves at the end. When you die, it auto-saves and it may have... It's either that or it's in these bushes. Let me have a look around. Oh, man. Hopefully the truck will actually sit there for a minute. Oh, God. What could... <laughs> Dude, could you just not? Just give me a break. Could you just not do that? He's not going to give up, is he? Let me have a quick look around. He's probably going to push my truck off the edge or something. So I came around here. It was here, wasn't it? I remember seeing the car and then I ditched it here somewhere. This is where I died, I think. I mean, if it's not here, it must be back on the tip. It can't really be anywhere else. The tip is such a long way back. Why would he put it on the tip, though? Surely it would actually just leave it here. Uh-oh. Maybe it's further down. Is that it? It's the... Look, he just slowed down. Yay, my bike! Look, he slowed down massively. As if he knows. That's really weird. Okay, death machine, come with me. Oh man, at least that's not gone back to the tip. I don't think it would do I think it only resets parts back to tip. I don't think it resets vehicles, so... If you tip your truck over, or your tractor, or your bike, I don't think it resets it. But as you saw with the bumper, if, if that falls off, it'll reset parts and stuff. Right, now let's just hope I can actually get this thing... ...into the, into the actual truck. Because if I can't carry it, then I really have got a problem. Oh my god! I just got... <laughs> oh my life. Stop pinging me out of my vehicle! I can't get in! My truck is rolling, I can't get in! Enter driving mode. There we go. That'll do. Where's the parking brake? <laughs> I don't care if we're driving with a, a motorbike right across our lap. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh my life. Right, I think we're really close to the town. We've only got a couple of bends. And then we're going to put this in the uh, in the boat, aren't we? And then we're going to drive it back home. That was the plan. And then... And then the next... Don't you fall on me. The next step of the plan, I think... Uh, is to get a lift back. No! Don't, don't go anywhere. Just stay there for a minute. Get a lift back and then we're going to take the truck and tow the van back home. That's the only way it's all going to work, I think. Mr. Warbub's there. Hang on. Let's say hi while we're here. Be rude not to. Sorry. So the brakes fell for a second. Sorry about that. I hope you, uh... I hope you're not too upset. I mean, it was an accident after all. Oh, he's still okay. I actually thought he'd be injured, but he's fine. Right, let's see if we can get back before it goes completely dark. Uh, I think I might just leave the truck. Uh, let's leave the truck here. 
Um, on, let's think. I don't want it sliding away. Let's see if the van's alright, actually. Oh my god, that van is so close to the water's edge. That's scary. Um, okay, right. If we put the parking brake on. Let's grab this, if we can. There we go. Okay, so you can sit like that. Please don't go anywhere. Just, just don't. <laughs> just don't go anywhere. Right, this is what I wanted out of here. I'm going to take this with us as well. Because I don't trust this thing. And the rest of it... Actually, let's have a drink before we go. The rest of it can wait. Do you know what we, I'll tell you what we deserve... A beer. What a day. Sunday has been the most horrible day. I, I said, I've been playing this game for quite a while, and today has been the most horrible day I've ever seen in my summer car. Everything has gone wrong. Like, nothing else could have gone right. Could have gone more wrong. Actually, we should probably turn the lights off. Not that it makes any difference, but... Right, let's get back before the sun completely sets on us. Worst case scenario is we uh, we have to stop off at the island on the way back. I wish you could attach a little light to this thing. How cool would that be? This is freaking out with this motorbike in this boat. It's actually freaking out. Kind of good job I brought this. Because it looks like it was a bit thirsty. Come on, game. Fill up. Come on. In you go. Yeah, I'll do. Can you stop freaking out on me? There we go. If you just sit like that... There you go. Just sit there. That's it. Beautiful. Right, let's get going quick before we run out of daylight hours. Reverse gear. Come on. Come on. Turn. Why is this not turning all of a sudden? I think it's because the weight is at the front or something. It's definitely behaving different. What the heck is going on? There we go. Now, if this bike falls in the water, I am absolutely, completely done with this game. <laughs> 100%. And it is sliding along. It's going to happen. You know what? I might just spend the night in our little uh, log cabin. It's getting really dark. And I can just about make out the island right now. The thing is, like, I'm holding full left turn right now, and it's... It's still pulling to the right quite a bit. This is really strange. Look, just look at that. And it's still turning to the right. How does that work? Like, I have to back off on the throttle... Because if I go on a straight line, it just turns. Like, the, the physics of the boat is completely broken because of the bike in the front. How does this work? Meanwhile, the sun's setting. This day needs to end. It needs to end. Oh, God. I'm now in a boat that will only go in a circle. In the middle of the lake. At night. <laughs> this is a Sunday from hell. It's, it's got to be the it's got to be the bike doing it. Hang on. Let's just stop. It's 
gotta be the bike. I can't think what else it could be. I can't even move it. It's just become completely glitched. Oh god, oh god. There we go. I can't see anything! I literally cannot see a thing all my life. I can't even enter driving mode. I'm going to die in the darkness because I cannot enter driving mode. There we go. Enter driving mode. Nope. Enter driving mode. Oh, it's turning. It's actually behaving. This is insane. Right, I can just about make out the silhouette. Now it's driving in a straight line. I don't know what the physics was doing then, but that was... That was scary, because all I could do is drive around in a massive circle in the lake. Look how dark it is. I'm just keeping my eye out on that little tip there. I think that's where the island is. Yeah, I wish you could actually attach a, a flashlight onto the front of this boat, or at least just hold one or something. Because you only actually need one hand to do this. You don't need to be doing this. And your left hand's completely free. Oh, what a day. Still, it'll soon be Monday. I'll be there in a second. Okay, we're actually... We're actually here. The jetty should be over here somewhere. I think I can make out the, the log cabin. Yeah, there's a jetty. Whew. Luckily, the water goes all white when you get here, so you can, it kind of gives you something to orient yourself a little bit. Uh, engine shut off. No, you scumbag. Okay. Gear select. Back this way a bit. Okay. Doesn't help when you can't actually see any controls. Now, not that I don't trust this game, but if I can pick this thing up and put it on the side here, that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't trust the game not to fall through. Right. I can just about make out what I'm doing. I think... Oh, I can't make out the door. There's the door. Let me in. Let me in. I seem to remember... I can't see anything. I, on, honestly? What the heck is going on? Oh, there's the door. Right, there's a little lamp on the, on the thing here somewhere. Is that it? Camera? I don't want the flipping camera. Oh... Oh, thank God for that. I should see what I'm doing. Give me a beer. There we go. That was nasty. That was really, really bad. <laughs> anyway, we've got the camera as well. So we can nick that. Let's go to sleep. We need to wake up in the morning. We can actually see what we're doing. Right, it's Monday. Monday, I tell you. And there's colour and daylight. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, I might just have a, a sauna before we go anywhere. I'll have to wait 15 hours for it, so let's not bother. It's not like we're staying. Uh, hunger is... Mm, it's not too bad. Let's turn the light off. Let's grab the camera. Because, you know, cameras don't fall through the boat, right? See, why can't you put things in your pocket? I'm just thinking, has he implemented fishing yet? One sec. You can stay there. Um, there should be a fishing... I don't know if he's implemented it or not. I don't think he has. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but I'll show it to you. There's basically a, a fishing catcher, like a contraption, 
that you put in the water and then the fish swim into it. Uh, it does have fish in. The last time I looked at it, it has fish inside, but you can't get the fish out. But I've not seen anything in the release notes to say that it's been it's been made active yet. So I presumably at some point you'll be able to catch fish. It's usually around here somewhere. Catch fish with it and then actually, uh, you know, like barbecue fish or something. There it is. See? So look how many fish that's got. So if I press the F key on that, let's take that out a second. So it says open trap. So I press F or click on it. And then nothing really happens. I can't grab the fish. The fish are all kind of swimming around because they're not dead yet. So I'll dip them in the water and just keep them alive. But look how many fish are in it's ridiculous. Yeah, we'll take it back to the cab. So yeah, maybe maybe, you know, he's gonna he's not actually mentioned this in the release notes, so maybe he's gonna add this in the future. We'll leave it over here by the water and we know where it is. There we go. If we put it like uh say here. That's underwater. Let's grab the engine. Let's fall off the jetty. Okay, let's see if we can get away with that. Driving mode. Gear select. And it's mostly behaving itself. Why are those trees glitching out down there? That's new. Okay, so there's the island cluster, and then we always head for this like cluster here. There's a little wedge in between. That's roughly where we're aiming. One of these days, I'm going to drive around the coastline and see if there's anything else around here. Because I've not actually explored it. I don't think there is. But the guy's always adding things in and doesn't tell you about, so it makes me wonder. I've got a feeling he's one of those people, I think, that creates lots of hidden features and leaves you to work it out and explore, which is kind of cool in a way. Yeah, I mean, maybe over there, what's, the, what's that bit there, for example? I don't know. Right, so we'll get back. We're going to have a shower, uh, get some food, have a drink, get on the bike, drive down to the bottom of the road, and then we're basically going to have to wait for the green car, which could take any amount of time uh, and even worse he could be going the wrong way you know because we, we want to go to the shop we could take the bus but that would mean driving to the bottom of the road and then waiting for the bus uh, he definitely goes to the main town and the bus should come past about every I think it's about every two hours the bus comes past the last time I got on the bus he wouldn't let me off Although the bus has more room for a motorbike, so maybe we should take the bus for a laugh. Hmm. Actually, is there a bus stop at the bottom of my road? I can't remember. I think there is. You know, thinking about it, I, I think what I might do is I might... Uh, I might drive the car down to Flitari. Because the car needs all that panel repair and stuff, so... Rather than biking, it might be worth driving to Flitari and then waiting for the green car there. Seem like a better option than motorbiking it again. Come on, back this way. And off. Right. Come with me, Mr. Bike. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to see if there's any fuel left in this thing. Because I'm not going to leave it here. What I'm going to do is just top it up 
Oh, I don't know if he used it all. That way, whenever we need the boat, I've actually got fuel in there. Because I don't think it's worth leaving a fuel inside the boat. It might be worth leaving one outside of here on the, on the jetty or something. Um, that would be a good idea. So that's now filled up. So we'll leave that there. Okay. It's not really worth driving over there, but... It's quicker. Last time I was on this thing, I managed to get myself killed, but that was Sunday. That was Super Sunday. And everything that went wrong, or could go wrong, did go wrong. Actually, we need to check what time it is, because uh, Fleet Tower might be closed. Do you know, he's not implemented it yet, but at some point, I think... He's going to make it so that if you don't close that fuel tap, you'll lose fuel. I reckon he'll do that. Quarter to ten. Oh, wow. I didn't realise it was quarter to ten in the morning. Okay. In that case, let's drive down to Flitari. Technically, I don't need to have a sauna, but I just feel that we should. It's been... We've been... I mean, if you think about it, it's been about two days since we went to the, uh, since we had a sauna, and we've been on the rubbish tip, died twice, <laughs> and, you know, if, if there was ever a time that you need a sauna, it's probably now. Okay. Look at, uh, look, watch how long this red bar stays red. That gives you an idea that we're not just dirty, we're like hyper dirty. There's dirt in our pores and there's dirt on the dirt that's in our pores. It's that kind of level. Oh, come on, game. What? Is it not warm enough in here or something? This is why I always sit over here, because it just... It more reliably works. I don't know why, but it just does. I can't believe this. How... This is insane. We're not even out of the red yet. This is actually nuts. I've actually run out of water, and I'm still not even dirt. I'm uh, what? All right, I'll get myself clean. Oh no! Look, I've just gone into white now. I've just gone into the white. That's like a full sauna to get out of the red. That truly is amazing. There we go. Now we're getting clean. Of course, the first bar's going up as well. And so is the need to urinate, which, you know... Why not help with a bit of yellow steam while you're at it? Save a bit of water in the interest of recycling. Because <laughs> smelling of hot urine? That works, apparently. <laughs> I just dribbled into the sauna. <laughs> it's just epically funny. Alright, let's get out of here. Close that. A quick drink, and we're good to go. Okay, right, so, uh, next thing is we're going to drive the car and take it down to Flitari and then we're going to go and get our vehicles back. That's the plan. Oh, is that the turn-off? No, that's not the turn-off. 
I decided to go the, uh, the the main roadway rather than the dirt track route. But I, I don't often come this way, so I can't exactly remember where the turnoff is for Flictoria, I think. It's down here. I know it's near the, there's like a bus stop outside the road and stuff. Here it is. Right. Now, we need to um, get this thing fixed up and then we need to get a lift back to the shop. Which means waiting for the guy in the green car. And the reason I'm going to do that is because we need to do a big retrieval operation. There's no good as taking his car because that's just another vehicle that I would then have to drive around. And we've already got two back at the shop at the moment. We've got the van and the truck, so I need to just basically get up there. Boil a mirrorista. Boil a mirrorista. Um, gear change. Eight thousand. What? Okay. Um, I'm not doing the car body. I can't bother. Just do me the door. Door left. Fender. Fender left is fine. Hood. Boot lid. Bumper front. Bumper rear. Maybe the bumper front as well. Do that and that. That's a thousand. Thanks, scumbag. Uh, so that's going to get the door and the front bumper, which has got this thing in it. So hopefully it'll fix that. I don't think it will fix this. I think that's a car body problem. I'm not sure. I can't, I can't be bothered spending on that one. Like spending four grand just to, you know... Do this thing up, but I'm trying to save up money for a metallic paint job. <laughs> and all this money's gone out because Wub will trash my car. Okay, um, we're a bit hungry, but I'm nothing to worry about. We can have a drink, I think. We left beer in here. We'll go and join this chap for a beer while we wait for the car. Yo! Listen, I'm sorry about not coming over for uh, for your poop. Is it you that wanted the poop? Or was it your neighbour? Waiting for one of you, hang on. Let me go and check for you. Yeah, I thought so. You're backing up there, pal. What you need is a sewage truck. I'll be right along just as soon as I get my van back. But I'd kind of... Could you have a word with your neighbour and just ask him to poop a bit quicker because we really need to uh, fill him up as well. Let's have a look around the yard. Four lots of giant wheels that we can't touch. Another truck. Look at that. It's an engine block. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? You can kind of see where this is going now, can't you? You can see what his plans are. I'm thinking at some point you have to assemble your own truck as well. My God, imagine that. Assembling, assembling the whole sewage truck. That would be amazing. I wish this game was moddable. I wish it'd allow it so, you know, mod authors could create vehicles that you could construct. That would be incredible. But the game doesn't actually officially support mods. I mean, it's got mods, but they just replaced the standard stuff in the Unity engine, so it's not actually got mod support. And a tractor as well you could make. Ah, <sighs> Okay, I don't know how long we're going to be here. I'm just going to go and sit over here and wait. Maybe have a lie down. I could probably put the radio on. Might as well. There we go. <laughs> wow, that actually didn't take long. Stop! Dude! No! What? What the hell? Why have you not waited, you scumbag? Oh my god. He slowed down then just drove right past me anyway. What? I don't believe it. I've got to wait for him to drive all the way back this way, then all the way back that way. That's just nuts. I think we'll go and take our uh, we'll take our chances with the bus. 
Let's go down here to the bus stop and we'll see what happens. Right. Here's the main road. There's the bus stop. Is it me or is it quiet here? It's a yellow thing up there. Why are there no vehicles on the road? What's going on? It's Monday. It's gone eerily quiet. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen this road this quiet. What's going on? It's like everybody just died in a fireball. Okay, well, I'll stand over here and just kind of wait this out then and see what happens. Maybe the bus driver will ignore me as well. I see a bus! Do I need to pump my thumb out? I don't think I've actually tried to catch the bus from here. Yo, scumbag! I mean, dude! Are you going to stop for me? Nice suspension. Yeah, boy! Do you know what? I've not taken a bus ride for ages. I'm so looking forward to another bus ride with you, pal. Can't wait. 25 mark. There we go. Okay. Let's get bus nap. You know what? I'm going to sit at the back this time. Like one of those school kids. Right to the back so he can misbehave. Can we just sit in the middle here? This is a good seat. Enter passenger mode. I'm not allowed to sit on that seat, am I? I can only sit on this one. Alright, tell you what, we'll sit on the corner. As far away as it's physically possible for me to get from you, pal. <laughs> I'm like diagonally opposite the guy. <laughs> Can you open the sunroof a bit, mate? It's, it's a bit stuffy in here. Is this air conditioning? Does this work? I feel a bit sick already. Are we nearly there yet? Oh, it's actually got a clock. Look, it says five to three. Can we stop at McDonald's? I'm hungry. Dad, I feel sick. It's not the best view back here, to be honest. These are the most horrible seats. Oh my god. Well, maybe if he gets there, it'll be all good. Oh my god, that was the longest journey ever. I mean, it's nearly night time. Look at it. What time is it now? Like 10 past 4 or something? You know, you a kid and you went on a coach journey and it just seemed to take forever. That's what that felt like. This thing goes so incredibly slowly. Let me off this bus, dude. Let me off, let me off, let me off. Let me off. Why can't I get up? Why can't I get up, dude? I hate this coach. It's disgusting. It's a slob of a coach like you. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to you. I hate your coach, I hate you. You drive too slow. Oh, you just... Go away. Thanks for the lift, bro. Thanks. Right. I'm going to go and grab a drink and some food, I think. Before we do anything. Hoping the shop's still open. Yes, right. Um... Right, let's grab some milk. A couple of milks and a pizza. Come on. Don't mind if it eats in your shop, do you? Drink. You can keep the packet, by the way. There you go. I'll let you keep this as well. See you later, bro. Okay, right. Let's go and get our stuff back. Blimey. I've got the truck, which I need to attach to the van. The van's got our bumper in it to the car. The car is down at Fleetamory. <laughs> it's just like comedy. It's just pure comedy, this. What's happened? That Sunday from hell. But we should be able to drag this thing back to base. 
and that will put things to rights again. Of course, it does mean when I want to go and get the car back from Flitari, I've got to bike it down there and then put the bike in the boot or something like that. But hey, what can you do? Right. Let's see. Let's have a quick beer. Thirsty work, you know. Let's have a quick beer. Let's make sure that all stays in here. They're going to need that for the install for the rally. I can go in there. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's get this thing linked up and drive it off. Of course, there's always a danger when I'm doing this. I actually just knock my van straight into the water, which wouldn't surprise me. Let's try and line these shadows up a bit better. Maybe like that. And then we'll get the parking brake set and hope this thing doesn't roll. Because it does have a tendency to roll sometimes. Uh, okay, that's actually really close. <laughs> uh, towing hook to towing hook. Nice. So we're going to be towing it like that means the rear wheels, or rather front wheels, can steer at the back. We should help things a little bit. Uh, let's put the axle down. Let's put the radio on. Okay, that's pretty weird. And luckily we can't damage the vent. Which is a good thing, because it's probably going to get wrecked back there. What's really annoying is we've got the sewage truck up here, and we've got jobs to do. There's a couple here, and there's one, a couple down at, there's one down at Fitari, uh, but it's just not worth it. Oh, I think I missed just this, that turn slightly. Sorry. Right, I'll get this thing back home, and then we are pretty much good to go again. All the vehicles back in the right place. To think, I did this entire thing just to get the boat back. That's basically what I did. <laughs> I don't recall hearing this one before. I've got a feeling he's added another one. Uh oh. Inside. I definitely have not heard this track before. Wait, have we still got a van back there? Dude, you're reckless! Right, here's the deal, guys. If the police are here on the way back, I'm going to try running over the police officer and see what happens. And then I might knock the car as well. I, I am actually curious. It's the right kind of music for doing chaotic things like that. And the day we've had yesterday and today, we deserve a bit of fun. That is the most random music ever. Oh, I'm not sure if we're going to get lucky. Don't see anybody. I think they normally line up on this this bit, don't they? Like here. When you want the police, they're not around. You don't want them to be around, they're around. It's just life. Uh nope. I can go off. Not a death metal fan. <laughs> anyway, we made it back, look. Back here. Let's uh pull up, detach the vent. Look at this, there's like no vehicles at my house. It's completely crazy. Okay, let's slap that on that. Detach the van and move it. Wow. 
And I still have not... How did this get in here? What the heck? I still have not sold the kill you. Which means wasted money because we could be brewing some more right now. What can you do after a day like that, eh? Okay, let's start this up. I really hope that that is, um... <laughs> that's actually just full of kill you. I don't even know if it goes off, that's the thing. Oh, come on. Have to wait for the glow plugs to go off. Otherwise it just refuses to start. I think what I'll do is I'll pull this up over here. Because we're going to drive it off. In the morning. In fact, I might just leave that there full stop, actually. It's probably a better place for it. Cool. Need to get the fuel out the back as well. Don't want to be carting that around. I still need to refill that tractor. Right, let's put this. Off the drive. That should do it. Recovery is complete. We now have the sewage truck back. We've got the van back. The car is down for repair. Now, what I'm wondering is, could the van tow the car or could the car tow the van? Hmm. I wonder. My fatigue bar is maxing out as well. We need to go and rest. One useful thing we did get back was this bad boy. We'll put that back on just as soon as we get the car back. Okay, let's grab that. Fill the tractor up with that tomorrow. Um, Yeah, I've got to move some groceries around. Also, we need to uh, get this thing out of here. Very important. We're going to have to fit that before Saturday. So we need that and its bracket, which I hope is still in the van. Everything's been sloshing around. There it is at the back. Fire extinguisher holder. I need to look up what bolt that takes. Probably one of the smaller bolts. Like a six maybe or a five. I assume it bolts in. Yeah, so we can leave... We can leave all the kill you in the back here. Just need to grab all of these things. Throw that up there. It's amazing these bags don't explode, you know. Uh, that. I think we bought, uh, I think it was six sugar and one yeast, if I remember. Plastic can. Okay, so where did yeast go? There it is. all the sugar and the yeast. Everything else pretty much can stay in here. Actually, there's not much point in... That's a brake fluid empty. That can go over there. Anything else in there? No. Right, so that is ready to... That's ready to go. That can be taken to the, the guy tomorrow. In the meantime, I shall get all this put away. Then we need to go and sleep before I die and also drink as well. And then tomorrow, maybe we'll get our car back. Maybe we won't, but we'll go and sell the kill you and all that good stuff. Uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Take care. Happy driving.